Notice I have my tools not on stainless steel. I put them on a towel. Shows respect for my tools, all right? And respecting those, it looks good. Um, my station set up is for my scrap, bones, head. This is for guts. That's for my uh, fillets. Okay, first thing we do is check for, and I would do this in the seat, check for scales. You just bring your knife again, see so here's some here, right? So you can look at this two ways. You can uh, go ahead and cut off all your fins and that, so you're safe. Or you can just bone the darn thing. Out. So what we do is we start by the head and and uh, what you want to do is have harvest the most possible protein off the fish that you can. So we're going to angle the knife this way. So if I go straight down, there's meat in here underneath this big hard head. So we're going to show that we're going to get that. So I'm going to cut this at an angle. Now I'm going to get this fish in front of me. If you want to come around this side and just understand that 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 bone goes right along here on either side. So when I hold my knife, I'm not going to use a French knife because this thing's so big. When I hold my knife, I'm pushing down with my thumb and I'm balancing it with my hand. And that's important to know. It may seem trivial, but if you don't do that, your knife has a tendency to wander on you. Pushing down with your thumb keeps it steady. So I'm just going to go in there and I can feel, look how, look how much pressure I'm putting on this knife. Okay, that's why knives flex. Because this bone's hard enough that I can do that. A smaller fish, it might not work that well. But I'm doing that because I can get the most meat possible. And I'm not sticking the knife far in there, I'm just coming along the, the back. All right? I use my, I don't pull the meat apart. You don't want to crack the meat or break it apart. So you want to handle it the least amount possible. So I'm going to come all the way here. And when I get to this end piece, I, I can feel that center bone. When I'm here, I want to be right along here in the end. So that way when I'm lifting slightly, you get the knife, your camera's under here. See these bones here? If you, if you uh, don't get on the top of them, if you don't get on the top of these bones, you, you'll cut into the other part of the meat. So you got a, you got these fin bones that continue through and then it gets to these heavier bones. And we'll see that once I get this, this whole fillet. So I'm just using the tip of my knife and I'm scraping along here. For those of you on this side, tip of the knife, just scraping along these bones. So, once I get to the center bone, there's a big middle bone here. It's a big nodule. So, you're gonna, just the tip of your knife, you're going to go over the top and then down a little bit. So, I'm just going to get over that nodule. Now I'm, now I'm over it already. Make sure all the way. And then I'm going to push my knife all the way through to the other side and finish this. Here. Okay? And then I'm going to pull this guy back. This is that center bone, guys, over here. It's that center bone here. And remember I told you these ribs, really not much there, so don't waste a lot of time trying to get through that. So we take it off here. So that's the filet of a snapper. And I have my pan set and ready to go here. And I put bags and then plastic wrap, so that way it's, the fish isn't floating in water. So, I mean, that's that's a good harvest there. Uh, I need a spoon. Just take it real quick like this. <clears throat> All right. You can use this or not. Make a little uh, force meat. You can pipe it. Whatever you want to do with it. Pushing down on that knife. See how that knife's bending? So I'm right in the bones. And I come up under here. Just like I did before. Pop it over the end. Face that way. This is the more, the more difficult one to fillet because it doesn't have the support of the other flesh like the, on the other side had, pushing it up towards you. So this is pretty much flat against the table. But here we got that fillet off. Two ways to do it. If you, fish aren't gonna be this big, but I'm gonna show you when they are this big, you can fillet it like this. Just come down here. Angle of the knife is everything. 
And once you can grab the skin, you pull and push with your knife as you rock the knife. Notice where I am. I'm hanging off the edge of the board. I'm not up here. So if I'm up here, my knuckles are in the way and I'm not going to be able to skin it properly. So pull here. Rocking that knife. Skin. Play. If there's any skin left on like there is. That's why this is a very nice sharp knife. It'll, your sharper knife will do this once in a while. It's easy to take that off.